I have a leak from my toilet coming from right here. I don't know if you can see the water that's dripping right there, but this is also how I know. You just take a paper towel and put it right here underneath that bolt and you can see that is wet, so yeah. So we're gonna see if we can save some money and try to fix this on our own. So the first thing we did was flush the toilet and turn the water off. So I flushed the toilet, but uh, as you can see, there's still water in there. So I'm gonna try to close the flap, just try to open the flap, keep the flap open to try to get as much water as possible out. But there's still water here in the bottom. So I'm gonna use this here. I'm use this to try to get the rest of the water out. <clears throat> All right, so I got out what I can. <clears throat> Now, I think I'm gonna um, use an old uh, towel or something and try to get the rest out. Take a towel and as much as I could out. <clears throat> so now we gotta unscrew the bolt. See, there's one bolt here and another bolt right there. So now we gotta look at these two bolts again. I know this is the one that is leak leaking. Um, I'm gonna replace both of them though. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the bolt that I need to replace. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. <clears throat> Coming off pretty easily. Actually, I'm gonna put something under here to catch water. So now I'm gonna take this screwdriver and see if I can get this undone. I was able to get the, let me show you. See, I removed the bolt 
Um, here's the old bolt. Um, screw, nut. Uh, I don't even know what a gasket is. I think it's actually <laughs> corroded. So I'm just going to take a screw and a bolt and gasket out of here. I'm not going to take the toilet off. I'm just going to replace that one that was leaking and see if that solves the problem. Okay, now I'm going to take out this bolt. So now I have the toilet up. Um, just got to unscrew this last bolt. So I got the second uh, bolt off. There was no rubber gasket in here. So I'm going to clean this up. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I was having the leak. And um, as you see, I had to take the, the whole lid off. Um, I'm going to clean around here and um, put it back together. And hopefully this leak will be resolved. Okay, now that I've, now that I've cleaned everything up, um, I have a new rubber gasket. I'm going to go ahead and put the bolt through. Then I'm going to put uh, this washer and fan nut uh, at the bottom of the tank. Put a gasket on. Make sure that's on good. Now we're going to put a new rubber gasket up here. Just to make sure we have a good seal. <laughs> you didn't have a rubber gasket on the old one. So, that's a help. Okay, so I have new bolts, new washers. Got a good, I think I got a good seal here. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. Let me turn the water back on and see if we have any leaks. So let's put them back up. Okay, flushing. <laughs> Nothing coming from this side. Let's go over to the other side. Feel anything there? I think we're good. So this was an easy repair. Probably saved me a couple of hundred dollars for um, plumbing services. Um, I would say maybe all in all, it took me maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. So I hope this is helpful to you all. Have a great day.